So it's been quite a while since my last upload. About a year if you don't count the Halo Online videos I hit. I don't really have an excuse for my absence. It's just a whole list of things I'd rather not get into right now. But the good news is I'm back now and getting on that YouTube grind. I've got a bunch of video ideas I've been putting off for the past few years that I want to make a reality. Some of those upcoming videos are new Halo 5 modding capabilities, a cut ending to the contingency from Modern Warfare 2, and a detailed breakdown of the Flood Juggernaut's role in Halo 2. That one should be fun. I want to focus more on detailed cut content videos from various games I deeply enjoy. This won't be reading from some wiki like Did You Know Gaming, this will be mostly original content found from my own research. I'll still be doing some of the old videos of mods and AI battles, however I'm kinda tempted to make another channel for AI battles. This way I can spit out AI battles much faster without diluting the content diversity of my channel. I can also branch out and do AI battles in other games. How does Juggernauts vs. Americans on Modern Warfare 2 sound? Anyways, I figured I'd just give you guys a quick update on everything. So the setup for this mod is a friendly team of Marines versus a team of enemy elites. Both teams are using the same vehicles and have rocket launchers. The catch is there's a custom script running that monitors how many AI are alive. It will spawn more if it falls under the minimum AI allowed alive, which is 15. That's per character, by the way, not per vehicle. So Warthog would have three people in it, so that's three lives right there. Each team has 200 lives to use. Once that falls under 15, no more characters will respawn on that team. This will create the illusion of a constant battle between two teams, instead of just it ending whenever all the characters die. The second part of this setup is I've made a custom app that reads the game's memory and displays it as an OBS overlay on the game, so we can keep score of who has more lives left. The goal of this is to create more interesting and longer lasting AI battles. I think it will work out quite well, but that's yet to be seen. Hopefully if this works out I can implement this on the Xbox 360 copies of Halo. It'll be a bit more work, but it might be worth the payoff. Anyways, that's the whole gist of everything. I'm gonna get on to the gameplay, hope you guys enjoy. Oh, that's 